Hi, this is Inside Kairos, video tutorials designed to explain the power and features of our IT-IP video processing platform. Behind Kairos is a new concept of scalability and unrestricted flexibility. Kairos is able to manage an unlimited number of video layers to create versatile and intricate video expression. Here I'm joined by Helge, Kairos product specialist. Helge, could you please explain a little bit more? Yeah, the Kairos ITIP platform actually allows me to work more in a Photoshop style workflow and uh, so I can add as many layers and I can add as many attributes and effects just for live video though. Let's have a closer look. Helge, could you please give us a demonstration of how Photoshop style editing works in Kairos? Um, in a traditional ME switcher, typically you have a, a fixed amount of keys within the ME. Um, maximum so far as I know is about eight keys in the ME. Um, here that layer started from the wizard saying is a background and has four layers sitting on top. Um, if that's not enough for me in my world in here, so I insert a new layer. Uh, layer pops up with a new default name, layer five. I confirm it's okay, layer five. If I want to make this quicker, I can also use um, the copy uh, paste functionality. So I use the context menu over here or use the keyboard shortcuts. So simply saying control Z, V, 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 and keep going like that. And if this is not enough, just keep going. Um, so there's no limitation in, in that respect. So if I build it an eight box, 10 box, 12 box, 16 box, and I do this in a single scene, don't have to sacrifice the entire switcher to build all that. Um, coming back to my main over here, and you see um, the differentiation here is that there's a scene color and the scene color is also represented on the crossbar over here. And it's also in my control panel reflected on red, uh, whereby the, what I consider my ME1 over here is on a green background, so to speak. The scene color is green, so it's red reflected here in my upper bank over here and also within the control panel GUI over here. So there's green for my ME1 and there's red for my main or whatever scene name that is. Now starting with the compositing over here saying, okay, my background, I'm using RAM channel number one. For my layer one right now, I'm using black. And I want to prove this first of all, what is the difference between um, a layer and a key in a generic ME switcher. Now on layer number one and also over here, I can give it a different name. So saying I will enable um, a cross point from my internal sources called the collar bar and um, switching the eyeball on. So enabling that here fully, that layer fully. And right now it's just a layer sitting on top of my background. Enabling chroma key over here, whereby the default sitting on green. Um, that's good. So, but if I decide I need a secondary color on this, like on Photoshop, so I just simply add another effect to this, which is in this case, another chroma key. So I turn this first chroma key off, turn the second on, um, also sitting on green, going to my controls, and I slide this off to be more on yellowish over here. Um, and then I simply turn on the other key again. You see already there are two chroma keys sitting on the same layer. If that's not enough, let me disable that for a second and add another chroma key to that. And here on the blue side and enable the other two keys. And now all of a sudden the layer is accumulating all the settings uh, in that from these three chroma keys into a single layer. Move this into another section, so I want to resize it and change position. Go into my transform control so I can do it on the screen straight if I want to. So make this a little smaller, push it to the upper left corner like that. And doing this on the generic MEs, which I would probably cost me already three MEs and three keys and three TV channels just to build the same thing. So it means that several effects can be added to one layer? On a single layer, co yes. correct. And what kind of other effects are there? Um, yeah, everything what is in the list over here, whereby this is the default list, the most common used effect. So there's transforms, there are crops, corner pinning, luminance keying. But if this is not enough in that list, so I simply open the add effect box over here, doing YOV, RGB, lookup table corrections, um, sharpening, edge detection and whatnot. All of what is in that list over here. A uh, very cool one actually is the virtual PDZ in an hour days using Zoom and team views and whatnot. Um, and the guy in front of the webcam is moving around. Um, I have this new cutout built over here. And if somebody says, uh, can we correct this? So I use the virtual PDZ effect for this. Say, yes, I want to zoom within that box, but I'm not interfering with any boxes sitting on the side probably. Uh, and even over here, zoom that in and then pan and tilt just within that new cutout. That's a unique feature though. Um, which is, I think, quite cool. 
Um, apart from this, saying I want to do a corner pinning style effect. So open the corner pinning, see it in my GUI, turn over to my corner pinning controls and I simply slide this off, slide this on, um, squeeze and whatnot. Um, and again, I still have my chroma key sitting here and all of this now happens in a single layer on, on this machine. On top of this also, within my advanced settings over here, I can also enable the bus dissolves. So enabling bus dissolve over here and I will disable my chroma key settings for a moment. Dissolve type is by default a mix effect, but the mix effect can change into a wipe or a DV or even in a user transition, which could be a replay wipe. Um, let's say simple saying I want to do a wipe left to right over here on this bus straight saying now I'm wiping to color B on the next cross point. So I'm just wiping within that effect over here, which uh, will take me for sure a secondary ME on any other system. Wow. Over here. This is fast, easy and simple. Thank you very much for your time.